Hey trail riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. Hope you guys are doing well. The crosshair passage for today comes from 1 John 1, 9, which says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The Daily Fire thought for today is, I have repented, I have received Jesus, therefore I have eternal life. The, daily, uh, the branding of word passages for today is, comes from John 3, 3 through 6, John 5, 24, Hebrews 10, 23, 1 John 1, 9, 1 John 3, 2. The scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year is Ruth 1, Acts 26, Jeremiah 36, and Psalm chapter 9. Today we're going to be talking about sure of salvation. To be sure of salvation, you need, you don't need to be sure of everything but only God, who is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, as John tells us in 1 John 1 9. And he who promised is faithful, as Paul tells us in Hebrews 10.23. Let me use a simple illustration. I, Mike Mayfield, whether I feel like it or not, if I am asleep, I do not think about it, yet I am still Mike Mayfield. Even if I should suffer the loss of memory, my identity remains the same. My birth certificate states that I am who I am, and that settles it. So it is with the Word of God. If you receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you have been born into the family of God. You have been born again. The Bible is your birth certificate. If you cannot believe that, then you will not know who you are. It's just that simple. Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Unless one is born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, but that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. John 3, 3 and verses 5 and 6. John said, Beloved, now we are children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be like, but we shall be like Him. 1 John 3, 2. What shall we be? What shall be? What we shall be, we do not yet understand. But we know that we are children of God. Jesus said, Most assuredly I say to you, He who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has been passed from death. To life, John 5 24. That is powerful. It says that if you have repented, you have chosen to follow Jesus, accepted what Christ has done for you in your place, and have received Him as your personal Savior, your own Savior, then you have everlasting life and have crossed over from death to life. That's something to get excited about and say, hallelujah, praise the Lord. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continue to follow me, continue to follow me here on the daily ride, and I'll see you on the next trail ride.